This is Jason with Chicago News. We've got the 2017 Honda Ridgeline Black Edition. Now, most truck enthusiasts won't really call this a truck because this is actually built on a unibody, more car-like frame. This brand new version that Honda's come out with, they've changed the design to make it look more like a truck. This comes down straight as opposed to the old version that angled down. They've added a line here to show kind of make it look like it has a separate bed even though it doesn't. There's a reason Honda added some of these design elements to make it look more like a truck. Ever since the Ridgeline came out they've been kind of criticized for making a car like truck. In Honda's perspective though they've taken the pros and the cons of different trucks on the market and they were pretty much the last to come out with a pickup truck. There's a couple really cool features here at the tailgate. You can actually open it this way if you have a different size load you need to load in like this although it also still opens normally. But what's really cool is because of the frame design, you've got this huge storage container and spare tire under here. What's even better is that there's a drain at the bottom of this so you can turn this into a cooler and put your drinks in it. And when you have drinks in the back, maybe you're tailgating, of course you need some music. There's four speakers built into the bed so that you can play your music out here while you party. The bed isn't quite as large as you might get on some full-size pickups, but it's right in line with the mid-size category. But what's really great about this is how much space there is in the back when you fold the rear seats up. So if you need to move some cargo that has to be protected, you can move it in here. So behind the wheel of this Ridgeline, you feel more like you're driving an SUV than a pickup truck, and that's for a good reason. This is actually built on the platform of the Honda Pilot SUV. Now that's one of the most popular SUVs as well. So. It's not that it's a bad driving experience, it's just not what you're used to in a truck. There's pluses and minuses to building a truck this way. One of the biggest pluses is efficiency. With 280 horsepower, this three and a half liter V6 has tons of power, but it'll also get 25 miles per gallon on the highway, which is really impressive when you have this much space and this much utility. One of the things we're a little bit less pleased about is this new eight inch center display. While it's all new in the way that it works, it's a little bit easier to use than their older versions. It has the same design and it looks a little bit dated. It's not the best looking system. They've also lost any buttons whatsoever. So you've got a slider control for the volume here. Some might prefer to use the steering wheel controls where you'll find the steering wheel is kind of cluttered with buttons. Again, some of the European brands do a little bit better job with the control systems than the Japanese brands do. There are some other functions that are really easy to use, like the heating and air conditioning controls are very simple and easy to control. The heated seats have a rocker switch instead of a button, which means that in the winter you can just leave it on all winter long, which in Chicago, you're just going to want to put this on high and leave it. This black edition of the Ridgeline is the top of the line model. It's got all options. So this has lane assist, it's got collision avoidance, it's got automatic braking, radar cruise control, all of the active safety features that high-end cars are coming with these days. Another active safety feature this has is blind spot monitor, which the actual light for it is on the inside of the car here, which some prefer, some don't, but this system is really easy to spot. You know, we talk a lot about active safety features, but what about good old passive safety features, things that just help you be safer because they're built into the car. These windows here, these quarter windows, allow you to see when cross traffic or pedestrians are coming across, or if you're in a tight spot with your pickup, you can really see what you're about to run over. So safety features don't need to be all active. One of the things you really want in a pickup truck is lots of power outlets because you're probably going to use lots of different devices whether it be for work or if you're just using your phones, tablets, what have you. There's power outlets here in the center, behind the console, and up front here. You've got at least five power outlets here and then in the back you've got a 110 volt outlet in the bed which allows you to again plug in a hot plate, plug in something to help with Telga. This really truck is really fantastic for having a party out of the back. Well, what about the interior of this Ridgeline? Again, it's another place where the fact that this is built off of the SUV platform really shows, and it's a good thing because these materials that they've used are really nice all throughout. These a nice wood grain looking material here. You've got soft touch materials all over the dash. 
nice aluminum and black plastic across the center. And the thing I really like about it is it's not trying to look super luxurious. It's really got a very nice understated classic clean design to it with really good materials. Well done, Honda. There's also a ton of storage, not just in the back in the back seat, but there's pockets all throughout the doors. You've got three levels of pockets, a huge center console, pockets here. There's just tons of places to put different things, which is what you want in a pickup. All right, so what does this Ridgeline cost? Well, it starts at $30,000. You get the same engine. There's no base engine in this, but the base version comes with front wheel drive. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone that you're driving a front wheel drive pickup. However, you get these all wheel drive versions and this top of the line black edition is $42,000. So you're really getting a lot for your options money. So we don't know how many people would go for the entry level, but it's there if you want a budget version. So what about the competition? So you've got the Chevy Colorado, Toyota Tacoma. There's a few other mid-sized pickups that are more conventional pickups. And while they may appeal to truck enthusiasts, we think this Honda Ridgeline will appeal more to every other person. So let's see what this 280 horsepower V6 can do. Not only does it sound good, it's pretty quick. It's not got a ton of torque and it doesn't necessarily feel like 280 horsepower, but this still is a pretty heavy vehicle and all wheel drive. So considering that, it's a great acceleration. You're not buying a pickup truck for your zero to 60 time, but this kind of is a way to show you've got extra power in case you want to carry something. And this has a pretty decent, almost 1500 pound payload capacity one of the disappointments, and I think one of the things that hurts this truck being built on a unibody platform is the towing capacity. While some of its competitors can tow 7,000 pounds, this is rated for 5,000. There's a button in the center here that gives you, they call it intelligent traction modes. You've got normal snow, mud, and sand. Now, even though it's Chicago in December, we didn't get a chance to try out any of these different options. We really haven't had much weather this week so we can't really tell you if it works very well or not but they're there and they do change a little picture on the dash. One of uh, the features that impressed us on the Ridgeline was the stereo. This isn't a brand name unit where they tell you oh this is a Bose or a Harman Kardon but this is actually a Honda high level stereo system and we gotta say it sounds fantastic and it has the higher definition XM tuner to give you better quality sound on satellite radio. So overall, very happy with the stereo. But what do we think about this 2017 Honda Ridgeline? This is better in every way than the previous version. If you want a pickup truck that'll fit in your garage, still let you carry a bunch of stuff around, has car-like handling, great mileage, this is where you look. 